You make a really good armrest. Oh, if only I had a little human growth hormone. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. I've always said I'm average height, but growing up I had oddly tall friends. I wish there was some way I could make myself taller. I now know I'm about average height for a woman, which is approximately 5'4", but there are some vertically challenged people who aren't so lucky. Is there something they could do? Well, some people take human growth hormone to build lean body mass or to add a few extra inches to their height. Human growth hormone is a hormone naturally produced in high amounts during childhood and adolescence. But a study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that secretion decreases with age by around 14% per decade. The hormone is produced in the pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain. HGH tells the liver to produce a hormone called insulin-like growth factor 1. The the two hormones work together to tell the bones, muscles, and other tissues to grow. But due to various genetic conditions like Turner syndrome, SHOX deficiency, and Noonan syndrome, some people just don't produce the hormones, so they tend to be smaller than average. But according to one endocrinologist, if they take synthetic human growth hormone, they could gain 1 to 4 inches. But some parents are giving the hormone to their perfectly healthy but short children, because in our Western culture we value tallness. Studies show that taller people are generally more respected and might have higher IQs. And according to several studies published in the Journal of Applied Psychology and another published in the Journal of Human Capital, over the course of a lifetime, taller folks tend to earn more money, a lot more. According to lead authors of the Applied Psychology study, a tall person will enjoy literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of earnings advantage. But giving your perfectly healthy but short kid HGH might not be the best idea. First of all, it's pretty expensive, costing as much as $50,000. For spending all that money, it might not even add height to those without a deficiency. Plus, it can cause some very serious health issues. Too much HGH can cause a condition called acromegaly, which basically causes hands and feet to swell. It causes overly pronounced facial features and excessive sweating. HGH can also trigger cardiomyopathy, osteoporosis, menstrual irregularities, and impotence, according to a study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. And one study published in the journal Acta Medica Scandinavica found that the condition can increase the risk of premature death from heart problems. But still, knowing all these risks, people still take HGH for more superficial reasons. So if your kid doesn't have a hormone deficiency and you're thinking of spending upwards of $50,000 to try and boost their height, think of all the side effects first. Being short isn't really a health condition and plenty of people wind up being just fine looking up at the world. Love science, love learning? Want more hand-picked stories delivered straight to your inbox? Sign up for our newsletter. There's a link at the top of the description. And if you're wondering how being short is actually an advantage, check out this episode right here. A whopping 40-year-long study recently published in PLOS One monitored over 8,000 Japanese-American men throughout their lifetime, and they found that being short means living a longer life. So are you short? Do you get used as an armrest by all your friends? Yeah, story of my life. Tell me your story down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and keep coming back to DNews so you don't miss a single episode.